I've just had a quick look at this Stockholm truck attack incident. Uh, you don't need me to tell you any, any of these truck and car events uh, running over people in cities. Uh, totally stage bullshit. 100% government psyops. And when they mention ISIS, well, that just confirms it 100%. Just want to start with this image here. And I mentioned this pole here. How amazingly this truck missed this pole. Amazing. Uh, going up here. Not only that, have a look at this. I said he missed this pole by a bee's dick, but look at this stall here. He's missed that so conveniently by a bee's diaphragm. I mean, the guy that would have been in there would have absolutely shat himself. Where is he? Where is the guy that was running this? What's with the orange umbrella? Things you got to point out here. You got this laying here. Why? Where did that come from? You got things laying here, strategically placed. If you missed the pole, What's this thing on the side here? What, where did that come from? All these bits just laying here. Yeah, you'd think the pole would have been knocked over. Uh, you got bits over here. And the one, the one big thing, this is a Friday. This is a Friday. Is, is Stockholm a bloody country town or something? If you look at all the images and videos, there's hardly any people in these streets. I assume it's the main one uh, busy part of uh, Stockholm in the central business district. Um, guarantee that these streets were closed off. You got a few crisis actors here just uh, running. But if you look at the videos and images, there's hardly anyone at all. I mean, this is a department store. Uh, where's all the people? Uh, if that truck plant in there, it would have killed many, many people uh, walking in and out through this. I assume that's the entrance. And how Amazing how this truck just happens to fit perfectly. Did they measure it before um, they decided to stage this event? 100% they did to make sure that this truck went in within a foot. In this part, didn't go crashing through any windows or anything, just through this little open part on the corner. So just, you know, just looking at that, it's all staged, having a truck end up like this. And a few things I want to point out here. This back... Uh, I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, it's hardly open there, but you, you saw when the guys were uh, putting out the fire, it was open more. They were shooting the water through the gap here. How did that open like that? And why, why, you know, before even worrying about putting a ladder, I'll show you in a second the ladder up there, uh, surely they could open this manually and just fold it down. Surely, but that, that, you know, of course, it doesn't add to the drama. They needed a bullshit fire which they started themselves. There's no fire here, as you see. There's no reason uh, for a fire to start in a truck that just crashes into a building like this. It's not like it's a, um, a plane full of jet fuel. There's no way known that this would start any sort of fire. So how a fire started within, I don't know, five minutes or whatever, in the back of this truck is all bullshit. It was started by, um, <laughs> like I showed in the previous video, they put a ladder up there, they threw something in there and somehow started off a bit of a fire. But I just want to go through a few images now, and, but like I said, have a look at this. Missing this little stall by a bee's diaphragm. And yeah, you'll notice that this actually gets moved a bit. So this is obviously a little bit later on because we've got the police here. You've got these crisis actors, this guy even looking at the camera. You know, what are they doing there? And we've still got the kiosk, little kiosk there. But look what we've got here. We've got a bit of a fire going. What would have caused that? Like I said, there's no way. No, a truck just ploughing in like that would start a fire like that. And I don't know what they're doing here. Are they arresting someone here? You've got a cop here with a pistol. Cop on a, a phone here. Just looks, just looks very sus to me. Uh, just another angle of this truck that, that miraculously missed this little stand here. Amazingly, but you can see here a better angle. How that's open and fraction. Wow, what's happened here? You're trying to tell me that this guy escaped. That's apparently the story. This guy escaped uh, with this damage. And you're telling me this is damage from a truck just ploughing into, I assume, uh, glass doors in an entrance to a department store. I mean, to end up like this, it would have hit, you know, a brick wall. But it's no brick wall, you know, a few feet in, inside a department store, so I don't know what happened there. As you'll see here, they actually cut this bit out. You'll see another image 
they cut this bit out here instead of pulling the back down simply they decided to cut this to actually get into the back absolute garbage and another shot yeah okay the driver escaped this did he and this doesn't even look fresh i mean it just doesn't look right to me it's, it looks like it's been you know sitting uh at the bottom of the ocean for bloody 10 years not quite right this what's this a bit of a band-aid to uh, fix the door paper bag so who is this supposed to be in this grainy photo the truck driver that they arrested nearby does he look like he was sitting in that truck there that was all mangled not a drop of blood on him i uh, just changed direction here uh you're gonna laugh at this i mean obviously the truck went down there you can see that's where it ended up but look there's the marks of the car, uh, truck going down here that's one wheel that's one wheel um it's obviously one of these things that are in the middle probably sitting there how the hell did that being smashed like that end up being perfectly all over the street here like that like it's been spread out this one was knocked over it wasn't smashed completely like that it was knocked over but it's not even damaged so how did that end up there if that was there all the rest of the street would have been covered in this soil um <laughs> it just doesn't look right at it. uh all right we've got soil in these big pots but to be spread out like that perfectly i mean i know the soil's pretty thin but to end up like that and how did he miss this one here if he's going if he's if he's gone here hit that uh you can see the marks going there swerving around here how the hell has he missed that not only has he missed this big pot there he's missed the pole and he's missed that little stall next to the department store by god some sort of driver this guy is but yeah if you, you you're telling me that this was actually done by this truck well sorry i'm not going to believe that you might have a bit of clump of dirt here but not spread out like that and like i said if this one was hit that'd be pouring out as well because this one created that this one would have created more but anyway that's just neither here or there this one you're gonna love i mean you thought melbourne was laughable we got three women carrying i don't know is it a man or a woman um yeah hit by a truck supposedly uh i got uh spinal uh problems maybe no worries we'll just grab you by your legs and your arms not wait for any, any paramedics there's no blood or whatever on this person we'll just lift you lift you and, and cause more spinal damage no worries you know because we know what we're doing i mean it's a joke i mean melbourne was laughable but have a look at this there's no way known anyone would carry a person like this that was supposedly injured and hit by a truck gotta love this one there's the truck um hasn't caught on fire yet a little bit of smoke coming out um what are these guys they plain clothes cops have a look at the cap on this guy he's holding his vest this guy here uh we see see a lot of these in europe you know the jeans and the runners he's got a tag uh they're all there pretty quick this uh sheila with a, a gun cops everywhere not much real urgency though but look at the way they carry this person obviously not an injured person it's uh someone they're arresting are they because you would not carry someone like that so how many people did they arrest that you know <laughs> just outside where the truck stopped so how many people were there i mean this guy got out of the truck as well were they were there two people sitting in the front cabin were there and they just both got out uninjured and just happened to be captured by cops who were there within seconds sorry i mean there's no way no that if this guy got out of the truck he'd be well gone were the cops there waiting for him doesn't make sense sorry and just one more before i get into the video ah a couple of smiley faces there smiley faces there have a look at this guy thinks it's a joke not only him this guy as well thinks it's a joke because the whole thing is a joke you can just tell by these people laughing it is a fucking joke you got the police trying to be serious and these three people no one gets a joke <laughs> obviously these two behind the uh, person being uh, interviewed or whatever <laughs> playing around it is a fucking joke just go back here quickly 
it does look like a ball of flame there. Don't know what that is, but if that was a fire there, I'll go back to the video and show the non-urgency of the firefighters and explain what the hell are they doing if this place is supposedly caught on fire and only having one fireman worrying about what's going on here. No one known that this truck, like I said, should have caught on fire, especially inside. Let's just roll this footage here, as I showed before. I mentioned this hose going under here, okay? It is going underneath this truck. What's it connected to? It just doesn't make sense. Like I said, why this ladder? Why this ladder when you could have pulled this down? There's no way known you'd leave the ladder there if there was uh, a fire going. First thing you take away. But anyway, I'll stop it there. Look where the kiosk stall is now. They've moved it with the orange umbrella. Moved it over here. But like I said, if there was that initial fire uh, in front of the truck there, why the non-urgency here? You only got one guy putting out a fire. And you'll see here, supposedly just by chance, there's a hole uh, where this guy's going to come and attach a hose. You can see that. Oh, it doesn't look like it's got a hose, but it does something. And this is absolutely ridiculous. A fire truck doing a U-turn 50 yards past where the truck plowed into the department store. Where have you seen a fire truck doing a U-turn like this? He either came down this way or he came down the other way. If he came down the other way, he... He's failed to stop and didn't see that the truck was there. And so he's gone too far and he's, and he's done a U-turn to come back. Bullshit. Fire trucks don't do that. They go straight to the spot. They don't stuff around like this doing U-turns. Have a look at this. No urgency, though. As the idiot climbs the ladder, still, I've got to show you, Look at these guys. There's, there's supposedly a fire inside there. Does it look like it? That they're trying to put it out? Alright, so he wasn't on that ladder too long. Why would he move the ladder? Why would not he move this ladder seeing all this smoke coming out? And there goes that fire truck that missed the turn and did a U-turn. What a joke. All right, so there's still the same hose that's underneath. What you're going to see now, I don't want to drag this on because I've shown this before. I'm going to see these idiots again on the side. Why would you leave that ladder sitting there? Come on. All right. He's done a good job, this guy, even though he started the fire. Same hose that's underneath. Keep that ladder there. Keep that ladder steady. This is what I want to show you here now in a second. Here he goes again. Same guy, same hose. Sorry, I know I've shown this before, but I've got to, I don't want to stop it because I want to show you what happened here. Same hose. You'll see it's the same hose. And that's where I'll stop it here. The Mother's Club here, like I said, supposedly there's a fire that we saw in the store. No one's doing a thing about it. But look, they've connected this hose here. That guy connected this, supposedly, to a, a water main. But where's that hose going? No one. Nowhere. That's what you'd normally have. You'd have the hose coming out of the fire truck. But just by chance, they connected that hose. What for? There's no one using it. Because we've got the same guy. 
using that same hose. So where did, where's that hose that we just saw seconds ago? Where's that going to? It's not even being used. Just want to point out this here. We'll just stop it there. Uh, supposedly these people are tending to someone that's injured. Just want to point out the spot. Uh, you'd think that the truck went down here, but no, it came from here. But I'll keep rolling it and show you how ridiculous this is. It is nowhere near, as you can see, this is where the truck came in. And I'm just going to skip this video as the guy filming this moves to another area. There it is again. That part, just point that out. You'll see here he's moved to another window. And this is the actual street he came down. And look where those people are here, tending to someone. The truck's gone here. You're telling me that this person here was hit by a truck? I know in Melbourne we, we hear the story of a uh, young kids in a pram got hit by a car and the kids went flying 150 metres. You know, that's as far as they hit a five iron. 150 metres. So, what, this guy here, what, they've dragged him uh, being hit by a truck all the way over here? No way, no, that this person here was hit by any truck. As you can see, look, that truck's gone there, and supposedly this person's been hit by a truck and being attended to over here. And like I said, look at this, there's no people anywhere. I know they've closed this off, supposedly, but this was closed off earlier, 100%. There's a lot of people over here, way in the background, having a gander. But this all, this is like a bloody movie set. It's a joke. It's like a ghost town. Cops running around, making out like, you know, there's a terrorist on the loose. No real urgency. You don't see any bodies anywhere, except for this one shit over here. No bodies at all over here. Look at that. Nothing. This is where the truck came down. You don't see anything. And if we just go back here, we see the beautifully undamaged little kiosk stall, whatever it is, uh, there to feed the crisis actors. Just roll it and just have a look at that. That's where the injured body was supposedly laying there. Ah, someone just left the pink bike there. No worries, I'll just ride my bike here. And we'll take this person away. Uh, leave a few things around there to make it look like uh, there's been you know, shit going on. Just throw garbage around everywhere, but yeah, I'll just ride my bike here and leave it there. The bike wasn't there before. You go back and have a look. Just to finish off, of course, you've got to go to Daily Fail to see what they've got to say. Police arrest six more suspects. Same old story. They arrest, <laughs> within two days, they arrest more suspects. Every time, it's the same script. Same thing here. Uh, the suspect was known to security services. Six more suspects arrested on Saturday afternoon. Here it is. Earlier it was revealed a 39-year-old Uzbek man arrested on Friday under suspicion of organising the attack was known to the police and had ISIS propaganda on his laptop. By God, the same script every time. And they also confirmed the homemade bomb was found inside the truck and the man arrested is likely to be the driver. They don't use the word allegedly, likely to be the driver. So they arrested this guy and they're not even sure if he was the driver. I mean, you'd know if he was the driver, he'd be a bit mangled, he'd be all bloodied after what we saw to the damage to the front of that truck. He wouldn't have come out of this, you know, scratch free. And of course you've got your witnesses describing seeing the killer setting himself alight in a failed attempt to detonate a bomb. and <laughs> said to have been in a suitcase before fleeing in foot. Who writes this shit? He, he tried to... Why did he do that in the first place? Just blow himself up instead of worrying about driving a stupid truck around. You know, he fled on foot. If he was going to kill himself, why run? Just kill yourself. Blow yourself up. The father of four was qualified. They noticed already that the father of four was qualified to handle explosives. A former colleague who interviewed him for an asbestos disposal job, 
last autumn said. So they just happened to find a former colleague, colleague who had interviewed him for a job. Yeah, the head of Sweden's domestic intelligence agency told a press conference the suspect had been on the authorities' radar some time ago. Oh, so he actually hit a pole. My God. So he's not perfect after all, as these cops, uh, hands crossed, you know, really busy, hands behind his back, really busy. This guy, a bit of a smirk, really busy. This is what, get used to this. Every street corner in every city in the world, that's what we're going to have. Have a look at this. They've cut this hole instead of just pulling down the back. Does that look like there's been a fire in here? There's nothing in there. Surely this would have caught on fire. And of course, there's your high quality footage of the supposed suspect, really clear, so you know, you can tell who it is. If looks could kill. And the same old shit, Prime Minister with flowers. Going to have the Prime Minister looking sad. Oh yeah, we love our cops. This is what it's all about. We love our cops and put flowers on a cop car. What a lot of fucking bullshit. Flowers and candles, flowers and candles. More arrests. Yeah, he looks like a terrorist. Yeah, so that ran into a department store, did it? Uh, actually looks like it caught on fire. But yeah, he got out, he ran. No worries, a bit like the guy in Berlin. He's another guy wearing one of those dopey caps in a suit. Is that supposed to be, you know, plain clothes copper or something, wearing a dopey cap? A ground shot of the memorial candles. There he is. Prime Minister carrying roses. Oh, get fucked, will ya? Oh, and the leader of the moderate party carrying flowers as well. It's all about pulling your heartstrings, folks. There it is. Guys captured. What do we got here? Someone being apprehended. Have a look at all that foam. Bloody hell, foam everywhere. Gotta love this one though. This is where they apprehended this guy. But look at that, this person here. Yeah, just walks away. We've just caught a suspect there, but no worries. Just walks away. No big deal. Gotta love this bit. This is what we saw. Trying to put the fire out. Then that absolutely hose this down with foam but what I if that was all foam here what I don't get is if you go back when they pulled the truck out there's not a touch of foam on it unless it just melted away so what happens with foam it just disappears I don't know so yeah I decided that uh, putting it out with water wasn't going to work so we'll just foam it all down uh, let's have another blurry image, take everyone's heads out of it. Does that look like real? Does that look real? Look how thick that is. What the hell is that supposed to be? Have a look at all these idiots there. You name it, they're there. There's firemen doing nothing. There's, uh, I suppose, paramedics in white. This guy, a doctor, police, military. And you've got a little group taped off here. The spectators. This must be an image from Syria. Uh, Got to wear a gas mask because, you know, Assad was gassing his people, wasn't he? The officer donned the gas mask. <laughs> Fucking joke. God, Daily Mail, they don't miss a beat, do they? There it is. Get used to it. Every street corner. Have a look at this. Talk about farming. So there's the hose connected to there going that way and it's also going this way. So that guy at the start, yeah, it was a waste of time. He had to end up bloody farming this whole thing. Alright, that's going to 
do it for me. I know it dragged on a bit, but like Daily Mail's just about got everything. Oh, here he goes. Here's an image of the London garbage. This guy with his semi-automatic. What's he fucking doing? All right. I know this dragged on. Um, not sure if I'll make any more videos of this garbage. I might do a quick one on the CCTV footage. Till then, ciao.